The Eagles kicked off their three-game American tour by taking on Columbus Crew, which proved to be, as expected, a much tougher test than their 13-1 demolition of GAK Gratz the week before in their opening preseason friendly. Tony Pulis gave Mila Jedinak, Joel Ward, Julian Speroni and Jason Punch in their first outings after missing the game in Austria, but despite having four of last season's star men back, the Eagles struggled early on and the hosts hit the woodwork just 11 minutes in. Waylon Francis's cross was met by Augustin Viana's header, which struck the post and deflected off Julian Speroni, but thankfully for the keeper he was able to pounce on the loose ball. Minutes later the crew went close again, as Will Trapp saw a 25-yarder flash wide of the post, but on 15 minutes the pressure told as Greg Bahalter's side took the lead. Eric Gearing found himself with time on the right, and he provided a dangerous cross for Adam Bedell to ghost in between the Eagles defenders, and the 6-foot 7-inch striker had no problem in nodding the ball into the net to send the home fans crazy. Palace's first chance fell to Dwight Gale, after Yannick Balassi had teased the MLS side's defence, but when the ball ricocheted into his path, the striker couldn't keep his shot down. Columbus enjoyed the better of the play during the first half, and aimed to double their lead, but Jerome Williams did well to block Chad Barson's shot before Viana saw his speculative drive loop just over the top. But the visitors pulled themselves level on 36 minutes. Once again, Balassi's pace and trickery caused the opposition's defence problems and his cross was flicked into the net by Glenn Murray, who beat the offside trap to score his third of pre-season already. Both sides would have opportunities to take the lead into the interval, and after Justin Merrin went close with this drive from the edge of the box, Balassi attempted to find the top corner with a blast on the stroke of halftime as the teams remained tied after 45. Unlike changing his entire 11 at the break as he had done in the previous game, Pulis gradually introduced his substitutes throughout the early part of the second half, but the one man who played the full 90 for the Eagles nearly scored on 65 minutes. After Johnny Williams' corner was poorly cleared, Scott Dan saw his looping header cleared off the line by Ben Spees. Five minutes later though, when Palace put themselves in front, Barry Bannon picked out Johnny Williams and his cross found Marin Schumach, who saw his header hit the base of the post, but Jake Gray was following up to scramble home his second goal in successive games. Soon after, Wayne Hennessy did well to save this thumping free kick from Daniel Palladini, but 10 minutes later the striker did get on the score sheet. Fiana swept in a fine delivery from the flank, and once again a crew striker found himself enough space in the box to flick a header past the helpless Hennessy. Palace had a late chance to win it when Stuart O'Keefe took on the defence and saw his left footer drag just wide of the far post, but all in all a draw was probably the fair result in the end as the Eagles now make the trip to Philadelphia for Game 2 of 3 in the States.